there is no room for debate, okay? The bulls are either going to reject, excuse me, reclaim the 296.75 level on the 50-day moving average and start making its way to the 300 level, the next supply zone, or they're gonna get rejected again and close below 289, which is the rising five-day support and go lower. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com weekend, well, weekend, Monday update show. Hope everybody's doing uh, well. So, you know, great run last week. Really, really good run last week by the Bulls. Uh, again, we, we highlighted pretty much everything throughout the week, especially on the weekend video, but you know, we came to a crossroad and that crossroad uh, was the 50 day moving average. Again, in case you're joining us here for the first time, that was the big defense, right? Uh, nothing good happens in the market when you're below the 50 day moving average from a macro point of view. And generally, right, if you're a bull, nothing bad generally. Remember, there's always bad positions, bad companies, but it happens if you're above the 50 day moving average, that is risk on. And the most important part of this rally, and this is kind of when we emphasize the difference between all these other bear markets that we've seen just in the last 20 years to where we are now, there's been really good pockets of strength in this bear market. Again, we've saw this really, really big uh, run in March. We saw this really pretty good run here uh, in May. We saw another run a couple of weeks ago in June, and this was our five-day run uh, in July and hitting the 50-day moving average perfectly. And so if you watched uh, the weekend video, last night's video, um, we knew you know there was two areas of the market. We knew that the bulls had to reclaim the 50-day moving average, which was 296.75. And we also highlighted in yesterday's video, any close uh, below this 290 area is not exactly what the bulls want to uh, see. And, you know, going into today, I was like, you know what, let's see what happens here. You know, I, I, I thought that if the bulls can kind of, not necessarily even rally today, but I thought if the bulls can actually just, you know, put up a very boring, methodical, kind of a complacent day, I thought we had a, you know, we had a shot, right? I, th I thought we had a legitimate shot that later in the week, the market will wake up. But the one thing that I knew more than anything, any speculation, any uh, guessing, because again, I'm, you know, I'm not a really good guesser, we knew our levels, right? We knew our levels, 50 day to the upside, 10 day to the downside. And unfortunately for the bulls, we closed uh, below the five day moving average, which, which is the shortest turn sentiment. And now we're shaping up to a 10 day uh, 10 day defense for for tomorrow. And it's gonna be a big, big deal. Like, I, again, I don't wanna sensationalize tomorrow's trading day that, hey, do or die. If we confirm tomorrow, we're gonna go back to the lows. Listen, maybe that happens, but at least baby steps. We have to understand what happens before we go down to the lows that the bears need to, right? They need to confirm uh, this 10 day moving average, this 288 level uh, for tomorrow's session is gonna be pretty big. It's gonna be really, really a big deal because again, if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from you know supply to demand, right? Well, this is coming from demand to demand. So they start losing 288 tomorrow at any point of the day, the queues have a destin you know, destination of 284 and any close below 284, again, you can see uh, where the bottom of the channel is. So again, without putting it anything into like a dramatic do or die situation, if you are a perma bull, uh, you have to really you know appreciate that 288 level. Again, the 290, there's nothing you can do about it right now, right? We talked about that in last night's video. That level's gone, right? Uh, bulls need to defend that 288 tomorrow. If not, there's another four points, four, four and a half points of downside coming in into this rising support right here. But the big one, the big with the biggest uh, pocket for you know pretty aggressive damage could be a close below 284. Same thing uh, pretty much on the spies, although we talked about in last night's video that the spies weren't exactly where the cues were challenging the 50 day moving average. They were a little bit of the lagger, but the question was, well, if the cues started losing the bottom of the channel, again, and I'll be honest with you, I, I did not think uh, today was gonna be the day that they were gonna give up, especially that quickly without a fight, but that happened. And you could see here quickly how, even though the spies were the lagger, it gave up the five and the 10 day moving average very, very quickly as well. And all these stocks that had the really big runs yesterday, or excuse me, last week, 
I'll tell you one thing. Like, you know, we had a, we had a, a pivot on, we, we had three separate pivots this morning. And we'll get to the pivots in a second. One on Tesla, one on Amazon. What was the other one? Tesla, Amazon, and Meta, right? At least Meta got downgraded, so fine. Let's take Meta out of the equation. But when you look at all these stocks, for example, they were going up last week on pretty big, massive option flow, right? Like last week, they were coming for you know, the 770s, the 780s, the 800, you know, 800 calls. Man, look how easily, look how easily without any effort today, the bears really took, you know, took down two major candles here and closed it below the 10 day moving average, which again, if you look at Tesla's chart, Man, this thing is one day away from having a lot of airspace back to the downside. That, that's not a good thing. All those buyers, they were coming in on, on Amazon last week. They were coming for the 1820s. This one candle engulfed three days, right? Almost three and a half days worth of buying on one day with, without any really big fight back to get back above uh, the five-day moving average. You can see it. 114 was the five-day moving average. Closed, you know, way below. It was three dollars below uh, that as well. And, and you saw that on a lot of uh, stocks as well. Uh, you know, names like Roku gave up. You know, gave up its all its major support here. Lowest close. Shopify. Uh, I really like Shopify tomorrow. If we start moving lower, uh, held bottom of the channel here twice. They were coming for the thirty-dollar weekly puts. You know, pretty aggressively here. Uh, going back to Tesla. Like this is a pretty big candle today, okay? And obviously anybody who bought pre-market or bought uh, uh, Friday night on the news that, uh, you know, Musk is walking away in the deal. The one thing is, man, once you started seeing the option flow and it's, it went right on the day today, they weren't just coming for like the 730, 720 puts. They were coming for the 680, 670 weeklies. That's something to really, really keep in mind. Again, that type of aggression is really gonna open up a lot of eyes and really raise a lot of eyebrows. Because again, when you're talking about technical damage, and you can see, again, we might be a day, day or maybe two away, any close below the 690s level, I mean, it has 60, 65 points of downside. That's where they're betting. I mean, these guys were betting somewhere around here, 670s, 680s, when the stock was still in its 740. So you got the institutional money flow that was coming into the market on deep out of the money option flow last week. And today they started betting, you know, pretty heavy on a lot of names that ran up last week. Uh, really went through technical damage pretty quickly today. Didn't put up a, a lot of fight like I, I mentioned earlier. And the most important part is, yeah, we did close uh, below the 290 level. And now the question is, what happens next? So here's the levels, right? Here's the levels. And every day, you know, every night I'm going to try to give you guys, um, you know, I, I don't want to use the word macro levels, but important levels going into the next day here. So the 10 day moving average is uh, 288. Everybody see that? Right, 288 is this green line here. There's something that in the PS60 theory that I call the 10 day moving average on the upside, it's called the birth of the trade. So basically what that means is it reclaimed five days, which is a short term sentiment. And now the birth of the trade gives you a, a, a kind of a room, right? Room for the next potential measure of potential. So not that this is the end all be all, but this 288 level, guys, watch this area here. 288, obviously to the upside, we're not even close to that now. But 288 to the downside, uh, 288 becomes a pretty big turn. And anything below 284, guys, again, big, big levels down. So keep an eye on that. On the spies, uh, you know, watch below today's low. The same thing, 10 day. If we start gapping and start, you know, building below uh, 380, 350 on the spies, then your next move is down to 380. And any close below 380, again, as you can see uh, how much airspace there is as well. So, you know, we're kind of set up tomorrow. I mean, uh, you know, look, it's very, very tough. And, and, you, and you, you kept on hearing this. And this is kind of what I kept on reiterating the point. You keep on hearing like, you know, any rally in this market, especially in a bear environment. Well, that's the bottom. That's the bottom. That's the bottom. And, and all I kept on saying, especially on, on, on the weekend video, is I'm like, listen, nobody cares about picking the bottom or, or being, being right of, you know, uh, identifying the bottom. That's again, that's water cooler talk. That's social media stuff, you know, fishing for shares and likes. Maybe that was the bottom, maybe that wasn't. But the one thing I kept on reiterating over the weekend videos, can at least we get above the 50 day moving average before somebody uh, a, a, a pointing this as the bottom? And that's the problem. We didn't get above the 50 day moving average. We were definitely not the bottom, or at least not yet. And the most important part is the bulls gave back control. The bears got it right back, closed below pretty decent levels. And if this, if those levels confirm tomorrow, again, we're going to see uh, more downside bias. So let's talk about the pivots. 
uh, really quickly. Again, here's the, you know, again, you, you didn't you didn't need to, to be creative today. Anybody who turns around that said, uh, last, you know, any, any point this morning and any sell off, well, who could have seen this coming? If you looked at charts, it was obvious, right? It, it was obvious here was from two days ago. You know, we talked about, you know, 96.75 to the upside, 290 to the downside. Again, again, it's right in front of you guys. The market is not trying to trick you. New traders, there's nobody pulling the curtain behind you. Nobody's trying to, you know, nobody's trying to play games with you. It's right in front of you. Everybody has the data. All you have to do is just look at the charts and see where the viable defense is and where the viable supply is. And once that defense gets cleaned up, the market goes lower. And once that supply gets cleaned up, the market goes higher. And these were very, very definitive levels. And if you came into today unprepared, unfortunately, you're looking at a pretty decent move uh, back to the downside uh, and the bears uh, having control. So let's talk about uh, today's action uh, you know, pretty quickly here. So Meta, uh, downgraded in Needham this morning, uh, 105.80 held twice. If it builds below, can flush more. Here is Meta, right? Downgraded. So here's the here's the here's the 60 minute view. You see this right here? 65.80 held once. 65.80 held twice. Third time was the charm. Traded all the way down to 60, 62. Uh, Meta looks uh, lower for tomorrow. Mara wasn't even watching. What, was, what did Mara do? M A R A. 890 to the upside. Never came close. Uh, never came close. Again, here's the two-sided trade, guys. And this is and this is what we talk about. Don't fall in love with the stock, right? You might love the company. I, I love Tesla as a company. And last week we were, you know, buy bias Tesla. But it, again, it, it's all about the pivots. It's all about where is it going to control? Who's going to take control over? Either the bottom of the range or the top of the range here. Here was 765 to the upside, 746 to the downside. Something had to give here. And Tesla just just got murdered. I mean, that's that's pretty much the way to you know the way to say it. So here was the 765, right? Here's where I, where I get these channels for. You see the top here, 765, right? That's also the high from Friday. You see the low here, 746, right? So you had 765, 746, and phew, destruction, absolute destruction on Tesla. Congratulations. I mean, great move. I mean, absolutely great move on Tesla. I would just love to, if it was had a little bit more liquidity to today, but. It is what it is. Uh, Amazon 1350 last week's bottom channel and the pre-market lows. If it builds below, can flush right out the gates. They started coming for uh, Amazon 110 puts very, very aggressively. So here is the channel last week right here. This 1350. Everybody see it? 1350. That was also pre-market low. Once it took out the 1350, went all the way down uh, to 1087. Again, Amazon's not broken yet, but any close below. Uh, 110, 109 will have a lower prices. Uh, Qualcomm, I liked it to the upside at one point, never got there. Shop, I liked it to the upside at one point, never got there. And again, here's the macro, you know, macro channels for the week. All right, 297 upside, 290 downside. And obviously, we saw uh, which one confirmed. Here comes, here comes Amazon. All right, guys, watch, uh, watch, uh, watch shop for tomorrow. Um, I, I, I like this thing. If shop takes down. Today's channel, a buyer came in with a thousand of the weekly uh, 30 puts. This thing can get uh, hit as well. And I believe that's it. So that's it, guys. That's it. Uh, unfortunately, if you're a bull, I wish I had a better uh, viewpoint for you. I wish I had a little bit better news. But again, I think the bulls uh, had their opportunity. They really, really needed to kind of put them in an inside day. I understand. We all understand uh, they got rejected last week off the 50-day moving average. But if we could have just rallied a little bit, then we would have probably attacked that 50-day moving average at some point this week. But the fact that we fell below the five and now we're very, very close uh, to confirming back the 10-day moving average back to the downside, it's not a great picture. And I wish I had better news for uh, all the long uh, bias traders in the crowd. That's it. Guys, have a great night. God bless. We'll go to my son's basketball game. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.